Hi, Dirty Girl here with another vintage haul video. This is a garage sale haul. I had a um, pretty good morning this morning, so I wanted to show what all I got. Um, this is in no particular order. I have everything kind of jumbled up here, but I got this Hollywood Regency style jewelry box with the glass top. This, uh, I would say, dates from the 1960s. And as you can see, it was a whole dollar. <laughs> Got this hand-painted, hand-painted box. It's from Ecuador. I'm thinking 1960s, maybe. But it's in very nice condition. It's a very pretty painting. And that was a dollar. I got this um, white linen napkin or dishcloth or something for free, which I will just use in my kitchen, I guess. And I got this lovely Melamac bowl in turquoise. Oh, Chloe, don't start that. Come here, you want to be in the video? Come here. Um, Vincent Romano, if you're out there, I thought of you when I saw this because you love this color and you love these bowls. And if I can ever get the marker out of it, maybe I will sell it. Um, I got this. This is um, Fisker's. Uh, they cut rounded corners. It's for scrapbooking or card making or whatever. Um, undecided whether I'm going to keep this and use it for fun or if I'm going to sell it since it is new in the package. I haven't even checked to see what it would go for. I got this eel skin um, card holder. It's got a little window pocket for your driver's license and places for your credit cards. Nice and slim. It looks like it's never been used. 50 cents. That was fun. Um, I got this butter dish, which I thought was candle wick at first, but it turns out it's something else that I can't remember now. Somebody's uh, teardrop pattern with the silver overlay, poppy, I think this is poppies, yeah. Silver overlay, poppy, design glass butter dish. It's in really beautiful condition. And as you can probably see, that was three dollars. I saw one that sold for about twenty-five on eBay, so that's good. And I got this Ruby Flash um, thumbprint candy dish. I'm not real good on depression glass or pressed glass or this is probably not this is newer than depression glass but um, I'm not real good at it but I think this is a nice piece I've sold one other piece of this Ruby flash before and that was um, two two dollars I got this botanical print this is probably a hundred years old or more it looks like it's a good quality um, lithograph. And it does ha has these little initials on it that will tell me who made it. I haven't researched it yet. But I will be able to find out, and that will help me figure out the value of it. But I just thought it was pretty. I got a little pepper grinder from Italy. A little nice little pepper grinder. That was, um, I think it was a dollar. I got this um, Japanese or Chinese, if I can get it open. Um, it's a little silk box, and it has inside it this hand-painted um, little bottle. It's um, it's painted on both sides, and it's it's like case glass, so the painting is actually on the inside of the glass. I don't know how they do it, but it's cool. Um, I don't know much about this. I just 
I'm a sucker for things like that because they're so beautifully made and um, it's not a it's not a good market right now these um, Japanese things but I keep buying them because I like them so got a pair of gardening gloves for me that were 25 cents can't beat that uh, oh this was funny this I just you know I love boxes, little trinket boxes, and I saw this and I thought, oh, that's really pretty. And I turned it over and it says something like hand-carved abalone from Italy. And um, I thought, well, you know, that's kind of nice. So I asked the lady how much it was and she said 10 cents. <laughs> 10 cents. So I bought some other things and I, I did give her a whole quarter for it because, gee, I felt kind of guilty. I mean, you know, I don't, it's not, it's not terribly old and it's not worth a whole lot of money, but it's a nice thing. So, anyway. And then I got this one sale. I got all these wonderful linens and um, just went a little crazy. So, the first thing is this uh, pillow cover or chair seat needlepoint. It's very nicely done it's older and that was three dollars and then I got a bunch of handkerchiefs there's um, a bunch of them here that are Swiss linen hand embroidered still on their original display cards so I got two of those and then two others that are similar but have been taken off of their cards It's very beautiful embroidery work. And all the handkerchiefs were 50 cents a piece. I'm probably going to sell them. The Swiss ones I'll probably sell in a lot, and these little printed ones I'll probably sell in a lot. But they're just really cute. I think, I don't know, maybe 1960s these came from. Very pretty. And then I got some embroidered cotton pillowcases. These are in really beautiful condition and I won't have to do a thing to them, just photograph them. I don't have to wash them or press them or get stains out of them or anything, which is nice. And those were um, $2.50. And I may keep those because I love cotton pillow slips. Here's a little rooster dish towel, linen dish towel for a dollar. And then these were rather extravagant purchase. These are the days of the week dish towels, which I think are so nice. They're embroidered, look like they're machine embroidered, but there's, you know, different, each one's a different color, really nice heavy duty linen dishcloths. And those were $9, went a little crazy. And these are just um, very nice, linen dish towels. They're not new, but they're still in really good condition and clean and no stains. And uh, they have all different kinds of fruit. There's four different ones. And this was $6 for four. And I do believe that's it for the day. Thanks for watching. I hope that you will share this video and like it and comment and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Uh, most of these items will be for sale in my Etsy shop, which is vintagedazzle.etsy.com. I will put the link down in the description. A few things that I can't sell on Etsy like these because they're not new, I mean they're not vintage, um, I will sell on eBay. That, the eel skin uh, card case probably will go on eBay. And I am Kara Lennox on eBay, K-A-R-A-L-E-N-N-O-X. Thanks again. Have a good day. Bye.